Hey everybody, welcome to the Service Now store. I am your host uh, Mohammed Kamal. On today's session, we'll cover the Service Now strategic portfolio management on Delta Deck, Washington DC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will cover we will uncover some of this Delta SPM exam, how you can pass and so on. This is uh, there is one uh, community post that is posted by the Service Now employee uh, we will take a look at that one as well here so what you see here the washington release stamps now this deck is publicly available service now make it available for all of us and it's shareable and i'm sharing and also making this video out of that so ladies and gentlemen i will put uh, the link on the description here you can find it now in general strategy portfolio management uh, got a couple of stra uh, strategy and alignment and also delivery we'll take a look at that uh, not only that on this we will also cover some of the uh, different different service now product evolution uh, we'll take a look at here in service now so for example uh, back in quebec uh, this was back 2021 the service now strategic portfolio alignment at that time actually it was called as uh, ITBM, IT Business Management, or you call it PPM. So there was a lot of uh, new things that came: alignment, workspace, uh, roadmap planning, scenario planning, uh, and so on. So those were there. Now, if you take a look at this, is the really the evolution that we can see on SPM. Uh, things are really, really growing, and you you can see that in Rome, September 2021. We all remember that the service now demand dates and user calendar enhancements were there and also uh, it's not um, we now forgot the resource plan dates and also adhere to the demand and project date so those was a really good 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 uh, enhancement that service now added back in san diego we got the bidirectional apw integration to azure devops that was also a cool feature now, if we take a look at the Vancouver release, this was back in 2023. Uh, there was a resource management workspace added, so it was time to get you know some of those uh, workspace. Workspace really helpful. The IT, you know, when they work, they can use the workspace that can bring everything in one place. All right, so that was a very enhanced one because of that new UI experience that came. All right, so we got the capacity planning, the goal dashboard, okay, scoring framework. Those was uh, uh, added during the bank cover, so a lot of enhancement added on that. Now, when you come to the Washington DC, which the current release that we are in, there is an enterprise agile planning. There's a project source to pay, ops better together story. Now, this is a very cool one. Having it tried, by the way, the uh, source to pay. Uh, which really uh, I heard a lot about it and also lately I was reading to so this project source to pay it really where you can be able to make transactions using service now service now is really now getting to all that new functionality adding up so that's really cool future as well hopefully we'll have a demo in a near uh, future here there's an actionable resource management workspace and then the workspace is really cool as well where you can do a lot of actions there migration to the attribute based resource plan and a business capacity lanes i'm not gonna read everything here but those are the new product evolution that we got here in washington dc all right now let's move on to um, one of an important part here is the release date now this release date is very uh, cool you see that uh, service now in february we got the store release plugin available for washington family that was the early availability and we also in in march which is gonna come up right january february march march 20 uh, washington dc will be available for general okay right now by the way you can go ahead and uh, use your personal developer instance to upgrade to uh, service now latest release uh, but definitely you can go ahead and uh, make this available uh, service now make it available on the 20th of march 
for general uh, population so that's also cool things right there if you are not aware so if you are looking for washington dc you know all those new functionality you can get them in march 20 all right that's so that's the set date there now strategic planning and portfolio enhancement uh, if we take a look at the capabilities specifically on enterprise agile planning scoring prioritization and product feedback okay this product feedback uh, got a lot of enhancement on usability part and you see that the licensing as well it's only available for pro if you have the spm pro that's where you can get the product feedback okay all right so new feature which is new enhancement right here is that the enterprise agile planning this agile planning again it's only available for spm pro uh, it contained the planning board all right this was uh, released just in uh, 2024 and we also have a new right here for a backlog and also setting those three functionalities are available for spm pro and then these are uh, new features okay now let me uh, take you actually to a resource management workspace this new resource management workspace there are a lot of new features that are added on a resource board approval and approval resource requests uh, approval and also rejection assign work ms teams charts which is a microsoft teams chart which is really cool um, that is added here on the resource management workspace and these are actually the good thing is available both on the pro and also the standard version okay the std so it is available there it's really a major enhancement uh, where we can get right there iconography which i have not yet tried uh, but that is also available here uh, available in rmw resource management workspace okay so the delta l exam is really uh, coming up on this area so we have to get ready and prep for that all right so when it comes to the project workspace or resource management and financial planning the financial aspect there's a workspace called project workspace these the, the project workspace actually ca got contain a major enhancement and it's available for std and also spm pro okay uh spo actually here spo right so it's a better together story here uh, source to pay ops okay spo source to pay opportunity better together is the next experience project detail that's available on a standard and also pro version all right i'm gonna really bring you here something um, that is important for all of us navigating um this deck let's take a look at here uh, portfolio planning and strategic now let's compare okay the portfolio planning and strategic planning capability when we put it those two here together uh, these are the futures you got the std which is the portfolio planning and the strategic planning which is the pro okay strategic planning is coming through the pro now what are the new capability on what are the uh, some of the features that you can get if you got the strategic planning which is gonna be the pro right so you can get for example high level planning uh, all functionalities included on the goal and there is also scoring part which is out of the box and custom framework all right so list and hierarchy uh, this is included on the portfolio planning on std there is kanban as well the kanban is really coming on a strategic planning there's a free form roadmap uh, product feedback and enterprise agile planning enterprise agile planning let's take a look at the enterprise what we have here in a moment uh, one second inshallah where we are headed here in service now so we are the enterprise agile planning this will help you align your teams not only that it help you scale your way as well so it is really crucial for flexibility uh, flexible work and team hierarchy to support multiple agile groups and also their scaling need as well there is um, leveraging the platform in one place you got itsm uh, apm financial capacity planning 
and also the processing mining as well all those together in one place so you can leverage it as one platform there is a flexible uh, to evolve and also collaboration is also a key features in this the Washington DC SPM so that's where really things are headed in service now the agile specifically the enterprise agile planning now you might be asking or wondering why ServiceNow built the planning board right so this planning board is really built it's a workspace so it's a team leaders they can plan visualize and track their team's work with the insights into a dependencies and also they can take a look at any blockers to ensure efficient collaboration across the so it's really uh, one of the important where the team will be able to collaborate access any EAP from the uh, left hand menu as well they can go ahead and get it as you can see right there and then um, what we have here is we can have uh, a level of agile structure where you can also select so this is really a very good uh, planning board you can add filters you can uh, plan a sprint at the story level as well when using this agile calendar and otherwise you can view it through the item state as well okay this is really a cool feature now across the board this different workspace that service now build they come with a personalization feature right so the end user they can personalize there is a default uh, view or a default view where you have in your workspace in addition to that you can personalize some of the future by without affecting any other users as well so there are toggles to show the record id the blockers and also any dependencies that you might have in your work item so that's also another cool feature where you can personalize your card another cool feature we uh, here we have here is the backlog management so backlog management you can use this backlog management where you can uh, um, backlog items and assign them to different iterations like planning intervals or also sprints or you can also tie them to a team as well so that's also another a great area where the strategic planning really uh, have future this enterprise agile planning uh, which is the strategic planning really included with a plugin called strategic planning i'll go ahead and show you that in the service now platform all right so it's come with three personas here product management solution release train engineering and also team lead scrum master the pricing it's it's going to be included with spm professional strategy portfolio management professional and all functionalities are included on that one and plugin wise we can in install this with the strategic planning and that require a next experience to be enabled so if you don't have your next experience enabled yet that must be enabled there we can review also the technical uh, requirement shortly here perfect here we are on the service now here we are on the ServiceNow platform where we're gonna take a look at for the plugin here. So I put the strategic planning and you can see right there strategic planning uh, formerly known as a lens for alignment planner workspace is there. So you're gonna go ahead and click it and I'll go ahead and install this plugin. This strategic planning, uh, it's gonna be, it was called alignment planner and I have covered this in detail in one of the video that I have so we're gonna go ahead and install and this this going to be installed service now drug investment funding value stream artifact and also goal framework for SPM that's also a new future that we have so we're gonna go ahead and install and this is a demo instance I will load the demo data as well All right from go ahead and click the install button this may take a little bit of time uh, we'll go ahead and monitor that now until the plugin get in the stores let's go ahead and review some of the technicality now to get this the full benefit of enterprise agile you should go ahead and upgrade to washington release because uh, you don't have this feature in the lower uh, instance in, in the lower uh, releases or like um, vancouver or the other so it's just released in washington strategic planning 
and you should go ahead and upgrade to Washington and we know it's going to be available for public in about months here. In the planning for EPEC require that internal integration to the uh, must be tuned on. There are new roles as and now advanced e yeah. EAP these are you know the new roles that the new roles that are going to be added. So plugin installation is going on, it's really going fast, so we'll come back to it in a little bit here as well. So what we really covered today is the strategic planning and portfolio planning, showed you how to install the plugin, which is currently in progress, we'll take a look at it shortly, the detail, and also we have covered the business capability lanes and other planning workspace enhancements as well. On the next session, we will cover the resource management workspace and all those cool future. So for today, we're gonna go ahead and end today's session. Until we see you on the next session, I'll say thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and also share this video to um, people you know. So I wanna say thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, team. Bye bye.